today we are going to be doing the same manicure as we did i think it was three weeks ago with the dior neil glow and i'm going to explain step by step what i'm doing and the client has been using her cream which i can tell is making a huge difference so i'm telling her to use carousel just a little bit at night and it makes a big difference because the last time her the skin around her nails was a bit drier okay so i'm going to remove the polish with pure acetone and the reason why i use pure acetone is because it kind of shows me everything what I have to see and I'll explain exactly. So other removers will make the nails look much better, but I really need to see what I'm doing. Yeah, the nails are way better. It's crazy how it makes such a big difference. And that little simple maintenance. So now I'm going to do a dry manicure because this is what I truly do the most. And I'm also very torn because I don't want to make you guys think that this is the only way to do very good manicures because that's not true. So if you are doing your nails by yourself at home, I always suggest doing your nails once a week. And when you're doing your nails once a week, the manicure is very, very simple and very easy and very quick. And if you take care of your nails, there was barely anything to do. So you can definitely do just the manicure that is like a traditional manicure with a cuticle remover, which I recommend the Blue Cross. But when I'm seeing clients, I like to use the electric file because I usually have just slightly different needs for my clients, right? So I'm just going to set everything up. So I'm gonna use to shorten the nails, my new e-file that I got from the company to review for you guys and I'm testing it so so I'm going to use it and so this one slows down a little bit so it doesn't have a very strong motor so I'm going to um, set it to probably 12 to shorten the nails because I will put more pressure onto the file as I'm working so this is just to shorten the nails as you can hear it's just slowing down a little bit so if you are a beginner um, nail technician because I really don't recommend these files to be used by general public and if you are interested in doing dry manicures then I think this file would be quite good and actually the fact that it slows down it makes you more aware of your pressure sometimes so it's, it's not bad but it's not enough this to do uh, any enhancements. I think it would slow down too much. Same thing with pedicures. It's probably not enough. I was using it uh, as I'm testing it and it kind of slows down a lot and it actually stopped once and I'm not using crazy amount of pressure. But for this type of manicure, it's really good. So this is a sanding band and it's a medium, uh, sorry, this is a fine sanding band. So my client here is a, a physiotherapist, so she needs her nails very short. So this is what we're doing. Okay, so they are shortened, the shape doesn't have to be perfect. And now we're going to shape and I'm going to explain what I do. So I get underneath without putting a lot of pressure on the nail, just to smooth this area. I often get asked how much, how deep you can file here. So um, the good way of explaining is just so you don't cause an, any pain. You don't, you, know, you don't make someone feel uncomfortable. It should not be painful whatsoever. So just as far as the file goes, this is where I set it, smooth it. So basically bring the nail in a little bit. So going back to the dry manicures versus the traditional manicures. And I mean traditional, I mean with the cuticle remover because I don't soak the nails before. Um, the manicure. The soaking is really not necessary if you're using a cuticle remover. 
So again, my needs at the salon are different because clients see me every three weeks, I would say, and they very often just don't really do a lot of maintenance in between the manicures. But if you're watching this yourself and if you want to have like really nice and healthy nails, you really don't have to use this technique that I'm using right now. I'm just showing this to for you guys to see what I'm doing and how I'm doing it and explain the difference. But if you are a nail technician and you are interested in doing the dry manicures, I would definitely suggest doing some kind of electric file training. And the most important thing is to be very, very gentle because you can very easily overdo it and you can harm the natural nail and the skin. And the goal here is not perfection because very often I get that question a lot. Very often people say that I leave dry skin behind. And yes, I do, because you cannot fix the dry skin by filing it. So I do as much as I can gently during the manicure and the rest is up to the clients to take care of their skin. This is a shape that I call like a natural square shape. By the way, in quite a few videos I mentioned that, but I still get the, the questions. Is filing back and forth okay? It definitely is okay. It doesn't matter which direction you file. What matters is what kind of grit you're using. So how course the file is. This is a medium Erica file that I like using because it's very thin so it can, can fit here underneath nicely. They're very sturdy, they're quite um, sturdy so they, they don't bend as I'm working. Um, but you can really use any file. I use these files in the salon because I can sanitize them properly and I'm just very used to working with them. They last for a very very long time. But if you're working again at home, you don't, you really don't need any fancy files. I have to actually make a video about the differences between the files, but trust me, it's mostly preference. You don't need anything special to have healthy nails. Healthy nails come from you taking care of your nails and not the file that you're using. By the way, this little thing I'm going to snip later, so don't worry about it. And a lot of the manufacturers, especially of the glass files, they say that the glass files seal the surface or something of the nail, and I really don't think so, because if something is removing the nail, really, it's not sealing it. This just doesn't make sense. And I've actually used the files extensively for a while, and I really don't see any difference. So what happens is sometimes when the file is too coarse, what you can do, you can just use a buffer block at the end, and this is what I often do, and just go like this to smooth the edge and you're perfectly fine. You don't need any special files, really. do quite a lot of these manicures and I really really love doing them and I really love the way they look they're such a quick service and people like how uncomplicated these manicures are and how low maintenance they are and I agree with them okay so now anyway, anyway you can use any pusher I just have these ones clean right now and I usually use the wooden ones but somehow I uh, ran out of them. I have to buy more, those birchwood sticks. So now I'm just gently pushing back the living skin. And I actually have a video explaining the difference between the cuticle and the living skin. And I'm going to um, leave it at the end of this video. So if you finish watching this video, then you'll see the other one. So this step is very, very quick. 
I'm just moving the living skin. All of this here is a living skin. So I'm moving this out of the way so I can remove the cuticle, which is barely visible. And you know, guys, there are so many different ways of doing manicures and every one of them has pros and cons. Um, I like it this way the best. Um, it works for me, but honestly, this is not the best way of doing it. It's just my way of doing it. And there's, you know, clients for everything. So if you like very, very, I don't know, perfect manicures with the living skin cut and everything else, then, you know, in my opinion, it's a little risky. It's quite risky, but you know, you have to assess if the, the risk is worth the, the look and you know go for it but i like very very gentle manicures so this is what i do so you know what i could use this but i'm going to use a more gentle bit it's smaller is um it's a little bit easier to maneuver and you know i use electric files for precision not for speed so because this is a, such a small this is actually the same uh, company as the it's erica same company as um, that makes the files so now very very low speed I can go over this area and then with a very proper angle I can then being flat with the nail I can remove the cuticle from the surface of the nail And I find that this is very effective, especially in this area, because sometimes people get these little catches that drive them crazy. And this really prevents it. I mean, unless you overdo it, because if you file so much that that whole area is puffy, then that's not good, because that creates inflammation. But just a very gentle, smoothing move is very, very helpful. Now, I see a lot of people showing dry manicures and they remove way more than I do. And I think cuticle is very, very thin tissue. So people don't have that much cuticle on their nails. So you shouldn't be really seeing a lot of dust flying. Because when you see a lot of dust, then that means that it's the nail that's being filed. And it's very important to know when to say enough <laughs> with this because sometimes in the pursuit of perfection people go a little bit too far and they see that this is dry so then they go and they file this too much it's best to just leave it and take care of this with proper skincare because if you file this too much you're gonna have like a rebound effect and the skin is just going to get worse without putting a lot of pressure. Here the mm, skin sometimes is a little calloused, especially for people that work with their hands. So you can, you can hear that the machine is working a little bit harder. Is sometimes a little bit of um, nail underneath. We we'll call it a skirt. Okay, perfect. And I love how the skin is nicely refreshed after the manicure. But again, if you're using the carousel or the Hasserol from Poland, and if you're doing this um, daily, you really will have much less of this harder skin. I really don't think that you need to buy electric file to take care of your nails because you don't. 
like I said, this is a very good idea, in my opinion, for nail technicians that are trained and that have a very, very light touch. Then it's awesome. This is also really, really good before gel polish manicures because for gel polish manicures, we don't want to be introducing absolutely any water to the nail. The nail has to be dry. It just lasts, the product lasts better on the very dry nail. So this is what I do before shellac manicures. Perfect. This piece is very, very light and it just moves. So I'm using it on 8,000 RPM. And this is the only bit that I really use. I don't I don't use other bits. I use different bits sometimes for pedicures, but sometimes keeping it simple is a is a good approach in life. I'm actually really um, impressed on how better the skin is around the nails after using the carousel. And someone in the comment section was asking me what's the difference between the carousel and Vaseline. Okay, so Vaseline is a very good ingredient. Um, it's actually excellent. But it's it's kind of limited. So carousel has Vaseline as one of the first ingredients, but it also has urea, uh, which is um, moisturizing and also is slightly exfoliating, and also has glycerin, which is also um, moisturizing, and it has salicylic acid, five percent. And salicylic acid is is um, anti-inflammatory. And also is an exfoliant so it just keeps the skin very nice and healthy um, it's it's made for heels it's made for feet but it's it's not very it's not too much it's not overdoing it so if someone has a very normal not dry not callous skin around the nails then probably they don't need that but if there is a, a buildup or someone is switching from you know the traditional manicures where people cut the skin and switching to this type of manicures then it's a very very good idea to to use it because it really really helps so you see at this point a lot of times i get these comments like oh my god the skin is so dry well it is because i like to keep it dry as i'm working because i can see what i'm doing but how do we correct dry skin we apply creams and oils so after i polish the nails I apply cream and the cream does not hide the dryness it fixes the dryness right so this is how clients should also take care of their nails by putting creams and oils And it's a very good idea if you're starting out as a nail technician and you're using this method to really pay attention to what's happening to clients skin and take pictures so you want progress so you want the clients hands or skin around the nails look better after the two weeks because you, you don't want to be creating that rebound effect when you try to remove too much and then they come back and the skin is even worse than it was before so it's very, very important to really pay attention and to cut, customize, um, not to do you know everything exactly the same for each client. It just depends what people need. Okay, so this is perfect. And now I'm just going to use a buffer because sometimes there was just a little bit of little catches around this area. And I'm going to smooth the free edge just to make sure that it's nice and smooth. So it is important not to file the whole surface because you're just removing layers and damaging the nail.
and when the nail is damaged then first of all nothing sticks to it second of all it starts peeling and you're causing more harm than good Again, a lot of questions people are asking, what if that skin is overgrown? You know what? Um, just use the cream before you start even doing manicures. So that skin is going to improve. I'm going to actually link another video um, in the description box. Very, very important video. So don't worry about it too much. Think progress, not perfection with your first manicure. And before even doing a manicure, just start taking care of your skin and it's going to make the doing manicure so much easier. Okay, so now just 99% alcohol. You can actually, instead of this thing, use just a towel. Because towels usually don't have the fluffings. This step is very important because the polish is not going to stick to anything that's oily. So um, don't use nail polish remover because nail polish remover usually, well, a lot of them have oils and glycerin and water. And now the last step. And I use one or two coats. It depends what the client wants. The one coat gives you a very, very natural look. It's kind of like not even very, very shiny. And I love this because it dries very, very quickly. It's also not too blue because sometimes very often the other polishes the brightening polishes are quite blue and outside they look a little weird and a lot of clients don't like that look so this has a very very natural look i also find that the dior starts off quite thin Mm, the consistency of the actual polish so that one gives you always less shine and then once it gets a little bit thicker so at the end of the bottle sometimes even one coat has a good shine Also, don't forget that this this light here, my lamp, is very, very bright because I really have to see what I'm doing. But in, in real life, this the nails don't look this dry, obviously. And I'll show you how the nails look in the normal light at the end of this video. Okay, and this dries two minutes, so I actually time myself two minutes and then I put oil and cream. In the meantime, I'm going to show you something. Because obviously, after a manicure, you always see people apply so much oil. But this is not what you have to do each time. So this is what I do. I just put a drop after I wash my hands. So this is what I do. This is how much oil I apply. And that's it. And then I kind of rub it in into my hands. If there's too much, and just you know you can wipe it with a towel or something but this is what you need you don't need to have dripping hands with oil waiting for it to absorb you really don't and when you do this on a regular basis it makes a huge huge difference in how the skin around the nails looks so you don't need that much oil after manicure obviously because we use a whole bunch of you know alcohol and the nails kind of need it this is dry already so we're going to put more but just so you know you don't have to do this every time. And this manicure takes 
exactly 30 minutes. So it's awesome. It's nice and quick. Yes, it's look amazing. I could do this all day, honestly. each time I'm gonna show you something guys so underneath this towel I have a heating pad and it's really nice and warm in the winter beautiful 